Did you know that 53 cows are equivalent to one human? Well, it's true. Um, according to Is Meat, a Net Harm article, their data shows that 53 cows have the equivalency of neurons as one human. I am credible to talk about vegetarianism today because I have done um, research for about three years now. I have gathered all my information and data from scholarly resources, and I myself am a vegetarian and have been for about a year and a half. Today, I will present to you the pros and cons about non-vegetarians versus vegetarians, the effects that livestock farming has on the environment, and the uh, financial data. Now, let's get into it. So what are the pros of eating meat? Well, you do get a great uh, protein intake. Uh, it, meat is also a great source for vitamin B12, uh, iron, zinc, and omega-3 fatty acids. Um, uh, meat can also strengthen your immune and your nervous system. Now, this is all great and all, but when you do eat meat, you are also putting yourself at risk for chronic diseases such as heart disease, um, illnesses, um, and cancer in your colon and diabetes. And that is no fun. As well as eating meat, it is also expensive to buy it. Or when you go out, it might be a little extra to put it on your plate. Now, it's also inhumane the way that these animals are slaughtered for consumption. And lastly, when you eat meat, it raises awareness for global concerns. As population uh, continues to grow, these demands grow higher for meats as well. Now, what about the pros of vegetarianism? Well, when you are a vegetarian, uh, you do get some health benefits, such as you are at lower risk for heart disease, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, and you are at lower risk for type 2 diabetes. Studies have also shown that vegetarians are 40% less likely to develop cancer. Um, according to vegetarianpro.com.org, Harvard researchers say that consuming beef, pork, or um, uh, lamb five or more times a week uh, increases significantly the risk of colon cancer. Finally, um, or according to a research done by Luma Linda University, um, you vegetarians also develop some healthy habits, such as vegetarians are less likely to watch TV. They are um, more likely to sleep uh, more hours at night, and they consume more veggies and uh, fruits, obviously, because they're vegetarians, and they consume less saturated fats. Now, um, when you do become, uh, when you do live this lifestyle of vegetarianism, you do reduce your carbon footprint as well. You do reduce your uh, water intake or your uses, usage of water. And you save money too because meals are cheaper for vegetarians. Now, what about the cons of vegetarianism? Well, when you are a vegetarian, you are, um, you do get some lower intake in protein and vitamins but this can all be resolved with some supplements, some vitamins or pills or gummies. Um, also, plant-based protein, such as tofu, the production of that can cause more greenhouse uh, gas emission to the earth. Plants, everybody's favorite line, plants have feelings too. But just like plants have feelings, so do animals. And, um, According to Thinking Chickens, a, a review of cognition, emotion, and behavior on the Domestic Chicken article, they state chickens are sensitive to touch and their skin contains numerous kinds of receptors for temperature, pressure, and pain. Now this raises questions such as what is livestock like and what kind of conditions are these animals living in? Well, livestock is, uh, seems to have endless effects to us and to the environment. But I will name a few. Livestock is 30% uh, of um, dominates um, the land of all agriculture in the world. And livestock is responsible for 70% of the deforestation that is in the Amazon region in Latin America. Secondly, according to reasons why it's green to go veggie, they state that 13,000 liters to 100,000 liters of water is used to produce one kilo of beef. One kilo. That is insane. And the third one. Cows and sheep do produce 37% of the total methane, 
but this is with help of animal or of human activity. And for those who didn't know, methane is 23% uh, warmer than carbon dioxide. And now what are the conditions like for these animals? Well, chickens um, live in, uh, uh, in cages or in sheds. And according to This Is A Meat Harm uh, article describes chicken living, uh, chickens living, chickens living uh, are in a constant state of constant pain, anxiety, and they are barely to move. And indeed, they are barely to move. As you can see, there is a big flock of chickens in this um, uh, company, and this raises awareness for, um, or this raises development for zoonotic diseases as well as bacterial infections. And as you can see in some of the pictures, these chickens do have uh, their beaks shortened. Why? Why would they shorten their beaks? Because they live in this constant anxiety and fear, these chickens tend to bite each other or eat each other. And for cannibalism to not happen, farmers have to uh, cut their beaks or shorten their beaks. Now, what about pigs? How do they live? What about them? Well, pigs, they live in metal cages or in crates. Pigs are fattened to produce more meat. Um, and according to Is Meat a Net Harm article, they state that piglets are separated from their mothers for about 17 to 20 days after birth. This means that the mother is deprived from seeing her piglet as soon as birth is given. Well, also according to the AnimalAid.org website, they state that at A.C. Hopkins, the slaughterer used the, electro the electric stunning tongs as a gout, in addition to administrating kicks to make the pigs move. One pig was touched 13 times with an electric tog. This is awful. Now what about cows? What do they experience? Well, cows experience pain as well. They experience branding, they experience castration, and they experience um, the cutting of horns. Although pain is physical for these animals, your wallet or your bank account could be experiencing some pain too. What? How is this possible? Well, data shows that when you are a vegetarian, you save money on food um, than on vegetarians. According to a calculation made by Noam Moore, this is a quantity of animals killed and um, killed for consumption in 2008. Also take a look at the pink highlights. In the lifetime of an American, a meat eater, he or she will have consumed about 2,147 chickens, 31 pigs, and 10.8 cows. Imagine that, imagine that information. Imagine how much money is being given to these meat producing companies. But this is what it looks like for vegetarians. It looks like lower prices on fruits and vegetables and nuts, etc. Now take a look at this data provided by um, jasonlusk.com. According uh, to this data, true vegetarians spend a uh, little less than meat ears on groceries. And for the most part, they do. Now, Vegetarians significantly spend less on restaurants. They less spend less money at restaurants than meat eaters. And according to As Meat A Net Harm article states, a meat eater spends approximately $20 more uh, per week than those who are not vegetarians, or than those who are vegetarians. So um, I hope you guys have learned that uh, the pros and cons of, veg of vegan, of vegetarians, non-vegetarians, the effects that um, farm life has on the world and on animals, and the uh, financial data. And I hope that next time that you see any animal, land or sea, you see them as one of your own, as one of your friends. Because 320 chickens, 38 pigs, and 53 cows are all equivalent to one human. Thank you.